Hello guys, welcome to this special edition of All Natural Living. I want to talk about, well I want to share how I made my olive leaf extract. What I started out by doing is I got some 70%, you can get up to 100% grade alcohol to sanitize all my supplies, my workstation. I cleaned the tray. I um, laid have like a whole roll of paper towels that's with me the whole time because um and of course I have my gloves on because I have to sanitize every time I use these different items so what I like to do is start off with my organic olive leaf place it into my bottle this is actually a heavily sterilized recycled bottle that I use. I think it's very senseless to waste bottles. Anywho, I fill it up to about the bot to the bottom of where the label would lie. That's another reason why I keep the labels on there for the most part. Then you want to have some vodka. The vodka that I select is 40 proof, I believe. And then I pour, if you want a one to one ratio, I pour the same amount of vodka to olive leaf extract. And as you can see, I'm writing lines because that first line is gonna be my one to one ratio. And then if you want to pour the vodka all the way to the top of the bottle, that would give you the opportunity to make the rate make it the ratio different. So then it would turn into like a, a two to three. So two vodka. Yeah. yeah. So you, anyway, I poured that in, and I took another bottle to pour the rest in. And these wonderful funnels I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I'm pouring it. And again, the funnels are very, very helpful throughout this whole process. I have actually all sets and all sizes for different parts of the process. And then I put my cap up there. I use my labels to label when I wrote it, I made it. Sometimes I will wait for it to be done for two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. But six weeks is the actual time that I wait before I um, strain it and get it ready. So here I am cleaning again. And this is the same process I use when I make it and when I am pouring it and getting it ready to put it inside my bottle. So this tray was a tray that I already had. I'm not really worried about the alcohol um, damage because I just use it for the, you know, this purpose right here. So again, you get your paper towels, you lay everything out. Um, I'm going to use smaller funnels for this process because I'm going to be placing them into my one ounce droppers. And the one ounce droppers I found on Amazon, which was pretty, it was pretty fast to get them shipped to me. However, I will be using a, a um, bigger distributor next time. And I'll probably share that a little bit later or on another video. So to get the bottles ready, I basically take my same alcohol in my little spritz bottle and I spray inside of them, you know, shake them. And then of course I have to let it air dry and let them get the alcohol out as well. And I spray the droppers and I light everything out. And as you can see, it's a process because today I used about 24, I did 24 bottles. So as you can see my various funnels they're going to get clean and sanitized very well if it's too much of a mess when I start pouring I start removing napkins sanitize lay more tile towel paper towels down because again there's never too much alcohol involved 
Hell, the product is made with alcohol. Anyway, so to strain these, I use cheesecloth. The cheesecloth comes in a really big roll. I, you can buy it from any hobby store. You can buy it from Walmart. But anyway, I use that and I double it up, sometimes triple it up before I put it on. So as you can see, I have two of those folded in half. So that's four layers that I'm going to lay on top of this funnel. Then I have a... I have some rubber bands so I use the rubber bands to hold them in place over the funnel I like to put a little indentation in the middle first that way it give me a little bit more flexibility when pouring because sometimes going through four layers it can take a little while and that's how you get extra spills and things of that nature and it's fine to get an extra spill every now and then but I just want to make sure it's secure up there sometimes I go ahead and use two rubber bands like so I grab one of my bottles tap 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 make sure the alcohol is out of it before I use it or it's you know not heavily saturated I get the bottle my bottle this particular bottle as you can see from the date, I made August 6th, and I was actually supposed to share this back on the 17th. Um, so that one sat at least six to seven weeks. So that one is going to be amazing. And I just basically poured it in the bottle. This is my new batch that is actually available on beautifulbonnetbabes.etsy.com. Go ahead and get your one ounce bottle for a really great low price of $10 free shipping you can't beat that deal this is perfect for this season the flu season is coming up the fall the weather is changing drastically and when we want to make sure our immune health is up to par okay so anyway after that I go ahead and close the bottle and then I get my labels and I do my I, I do my labels and I also have shrink wrap um, plastic that goes around the bottle and I'll probably come back in another time to show how to do the packaging as well but anyway as you can see I over poured yes that happens because sometimes I'm, I'm gonna be honest I, I was just not paying attention but anyway so yeah this is how I made my olive leaf extract guys I hope you like found value in this video and I hope it helps someone in in their um, health journey thank you I'll see you guys next time